Welcome back to This Week in Video Games, and it's Tuesday, the 31st of May, 2022. And that means it's the weekly reset in Destiny 2, where the content rotates, the vendors and the challenges reset, and we got a chance for new content to be added into the game. Well, stay tuned for info related to Iron Banner. We've got Season of the Haunted, Nightfall Info for the Week, weekly rituals and playlists. Plus, we've got Banshees, weekly weapons, and what is in the Eververse store this week. Well, if you do around here, I find this useful. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. And roughly 98% of viewers who watch this week in video games aren't subscribed. So subscribe today and never miss an update. Well, let's check out the weekly reset items for the week. As you can see, Iron Banner is back and Lord Saladin is back in the tower and he's in a new position front and center, normally where Evil Avante is for events. Other than that, not a lot of changes going on in the tower, although I am in early in reset and it may be a bugged instance. Let me know what you're seeing. We've got loads of changes to Iron Banner, so head to the tower, speak to Lord Saladin, jump into Iron Banner to get that new Iron Banner loot. Rift is back as well, so jump into that and let me know what you think of it down there in the comments. We've got Season of the Haunted stuff as well, so it's week two in the story. I'm sure we've got loads of interesting stuff going on in the Derelict Leviathan. That's going to include the Nightmare Containment Activity, plus we've also got the Weekly Mission Sever. So just a heads up, no Trials of Osiris this week. That is because Iron Banner is here. You can access Iron Banner over here, but do remember to go and pick up that quest from Lord Saladin before you can jump into Iron Banner. We've got that new introduction quest, and everyone has to do it, unfortunately even if you played Iron Banner before. We're looking at the Nightfall for the week. We've got Insight Terminus. And that one's over on Nessus. We don't know the weapon just yet, but the first week was Silicon Neroma. Hopefully we're going to see the DFA or Horrors Least. But let me know down in the comments what you get from the Nightfall this week. That's week two in the seasonal challenges, so let's go through those. So we've got Sorrow Bound 2, so complete Bound in Sorrow 2 and defeat Kabar with Precision Final Blows. We've got Leviathan chests, an open world chest while exploring the derelict Leviathan. Umbral focusing one, so focus equipment at the Crown of Sorrow throughout the season. We've got to do three weapons and two pieces of armor. We've got Harvest at Dawn, so defeat combatants with a scythe. The final blows on the derelict Leviathan and defeat combatants with solar power weapon final blows in seven activities. Then we've got Moon Activities, so on the Moon, earn progress by completing Bounties, Patrols, Public Events, and Lost Sectors. And we've got Lost in Legend, so complete a Lost Sector on Legend or higher. It looks like that doesn't complete retroactively, so you're going to have to do a new one this week. We've also got Close Range Calibration, so calibrate Close Range Weapons, that's Sidearms, Submachine Guns, Shotguns, Glaives, and Swords on the Moon, and bonus progress for rapidly defeating Combatants. Bank, kill, repeat, earn points by banking moats, defeating blockers, and defeating guardians in Gambit. Then we've got Iron Sharpens Iron, so complete Iron Banner matches and earn bonus progress for wins. And finally, we've got Anti Cabal Sweep, so defeat Cabal combatants in Vanguard players or strikes, and earn bonus progress for defeating tougher combatants. Well, let's head on over to the Throne World and check out the Witch Queen reset items for the week. What we're looking at here is a good source of pinnacles. We've got the weekly mission. That is a really, really good source of pinnacles. Also of Ascendant Alloy 2. We've got the Wellspring activity. Today is an attack day. We've got the Vox Obscura. Another good source of pinnacle gear. Also the Preservation mission. Another good source of pinnacle gear. And then also the Vow the Disciple raid. Again, another good source of pinnacle gear on the throne world. Let's check out the challenges now. First of all, with the Vow of the Disciple Raid, we got the challenge defenses down. Let's head on over to Europa. Next up with the Deepstone Crypt. The challenge this week is Red Rover. Head on over to the Vault of Glass next. The challenge this week is wait for it. 
And finally, let's go down to the moon. The Garden of Salvation. Challenge here is leftovers. So it looks like we've got multiple challenges here this week in the Garden of Salvation. That could be to do with the Raid Rotator feature introduced this season. Next up, let's check out the playlists and the pinnacles for the week, starting off with the Vanguard. The Nightfall for the week is Insight Terminus. To raise that bar to 100%, get a powerful tier 1 drop. And do 100k Nightfall and you will get some pinnacle gear. So that's really, really good levelling up this season. In terms of the Nightfall loot, we don't yet know what that weapon is, but do let me know down in the comments what that is going to be, and I'll pin that comment to the top. In terms of the strikes this week, it's a solar sin, so all of you solar 3.0 builders out there, really good time to jump into Vanguard Ops. Do three of them, and you will get a pinnacle drop. Check out Crucible for the week. The big news with Crucible this week is Iron Banner is back, so you can jump into regular Iron Banner, or you can jump into Freelance Iron Banner too. These are the two nodes that you're looking for. If you want to jump into regular Crucible, you can do that as well. Do three matches, you get some pinnacle gear, and the rotating playlist this week is Showdown. That's a good one for all the Crucible veterans out there. And again, no Trials of Osiris this week because Iron Banner is here. So when Iron Banner is here, there isn't Trials of Osiris, so we can all focus on Iron Banner. Checking out Gambit for the week. So we've got regular Gambit. We've got Freelance Gambit. So jump in, do three matches, and you will get some Pinnacle gear. Head on over to our vendor friends in the tower. So do eight bounties. Get a powerful tier one drop and some Bright Dust. Starting off with Drifter in Gambit. Banshee44, the gunsmith. Lord Shax with Crucible. And also Zavala2. And don't forget that Lord Saladin has moved. He used to be here on the roof. He has moved here. If you're looking for Lord Saladin, you basically can't miss him. You want to land at the courtyard and Lord Saladin will be standing right in front of you. As always, we are in the tower. Let's head on over and see what Banshee44 has for us this week. Looking at the weapons, so first of all we've got Spoiler Alert. That one comes with Feeding Frenzy and Demolitionist. I think I'll pass on that one. We've got the Perseus D. The stats for all and one for all. Isn't a bad roll actually. That is a Kinetic Stasis Scout Rifle. Not easy for me to say there. And we, next up we've got the Pleiades Corrector, another Scout Rifle. This one is a Solar Energy Scout Rifle. Was it Outlaw and Sympathetic Arsenal? Not too bad. I think I'm going to pass on that one. Then we've got the Ogmar PR6, Unrelenting and Dragonfly. So Dragonfly is going to be good for PvE. Next up we've got the Palmyra B. Was it Auto-Loading, Holster and Chain Reaction? That is a very, very, very good roll indeed. Yes, that is three berries. That is very good. That is four. Moving on, we've got Typhon GL5, Unrelenting and One for All. I think I'm going to pass on that one. The Palmyra B is a very, very good roll. Definitely pick that one up. I promise I'm going to stop saying very in a minute. The Ogmar PR6, not too bad at all. Dragonfly, pretty good for PvE. Not too sure about unrelenting. But this is the one this week. If you're going to pick up anything from Banshee44, I would say the Palmyra B is the one you want to pick up. Next up, let's head on over to the Eververse store and speak to Tess and look at the Bright Dust items for the week. First of all, we've got the Nectar Dynamo. The Shader. Too bad. Pick that one up. We've got Up in Smoke, the Transmat Effect. Too bad, not too bad. We've got Molten. This one is an ornament for the Dead Messenger. Have a look at that. Really like that, personally. How about you? Let me know in the comments what you think. We've also got Glow Stick Dance. That. 
Look at that. Like a air traffic controller on drugs. Okay. Next up. We've got the 14 projection. Homage to Saint 14 there. Well, we've got Atta Scourge. That is an ornament for Outbreak Perfected. Look at that one. Quite like it. I do quite like that one. We've got the Synchrotron Advancer. It's an exotic ship. Too keen on that one. We've got Unseeing to be shown. A legendary weapon ornament. That is nice that they're coming into the Eververse store for Bright Dust. It's for the fixed odds. We've got Izanagi's Shell. Nice companion piece to Izanagi's Burden. We've got Canned Rage. Finally, we've got Spill the Tea. Well, I bet we're going to see that in about a thousand YouTube intros over the next couple of weeks. Maybe I'll even do it myself. Then we've got the Shattered Shrieker. That one is a transmat effect. All you Shrieker fans out there. Not really sure there are many Shrieker fans out there. An absolute pain in the arse. We've got Signal Processed. Not too bad at all. Well, that is it for the weekly reset information on the 31st of May 2022. And I think the big headline this week is Iron Banner is back. So jump into Iron Banner, get that new loot, and check out the new focusing options with Lord Saladin. There's loads of changes in Iron Banner. What I'm going to do is run down the introduction quest later on today. Also, let me know down in the comments what you get from the Nightfall. Be good to hear about that. Hopefully, we've got the DFA or the Horrors Lease this week. That'd be really, really good. And also, if you haven't done it yet, jump into that new dungeon. Really, really good fun and loads of really good loot in there as well. But as always, thank you so much for watching and for more Destiny 2 content like this. Hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. Or you can check me out on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video, found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Thanks again. I'll see you soon.